What's up, Eagles? Radio Jeb here. This is actually different. You can see my face for once. Well, you'll probably see it. Now you'll see it again, sort of, in a bit later video. Before I continue on, take a drink. My hard iced tea. But I'm coming to you just to talk about the convention I went to, which was Odafest Aurora, which was in its fifth year. And I'm going to sort of recount the things that all went on. Like each day by day by day thing. Just so you get an idea what I did. So the first day was Thursday the 3rd. I went up on a shuttle. JNL shuttle. Not sponsored by them, just a really good place. They take you from work, pick up your place, take you where you want, need to go, to a certain point. So I got in about, to Calgary about, I don't know, 3, 3 o'clock, 3.30. Checked in the hotel. Went and got some supper. I actually grabbed some booze to drink, because, why well, not? And pretty much just stay in a hotel and watch anime and all that, which wasn't really eventful. On Friday, which was November 4th, the day of the gala, we, I mean, the person I took with me, Bridget is actually running the camera right now just because I asked him to. They, well, we both went there. Well, we went and picked up our passes and all that, met some cool people. It was really fun. There was an orchestra like last year. And a whole bunch of good food. There was. I'm not going to go into it. Just let your imagination run wild. But one thing: our table was the first table to go up. They also start. They had a DJ, which they had last year as well. Take another drink. And he screwed with everyone. He played the carol dancing song five fucking times. It was just funny to watch. Like, oh, 30 seconds. Next song. Go right back to it, keep doing it over and over again. We left about, I'm going to say about 9.30. And went back to the hotel. Watched more TV, nothing eventful. Now, Saturday, the main day. <clears throat> we got up about 8.30, 8, 8 20, 30 around there, went and had some breakfast. Because the hotel was complimentary breakfast. We stay there, did that. One thing I mentioned, we were there for about mm, an hour before everything started up. Then we went got the good stuff. And I have the merchandise over here somewhere. I'll be showing to you all that in a bit. But we went there, we went to the merchant, nah, the vendors, looked around. I went and got what I needed to. Per, per, uh, went around really quick to see what there was. For me, there was nothing. Then I popped over because I, I had some recording stuff to do. I went up and got Stephanie Shea, I think was her name. Her name? Is he not his voice actor? To give you some info information. When I got her autograph and all that. Saw Nancy, if you didn't watch it, Nancy. Hi, Nancy! Hi! Then we got Eric Stewart's autograph as well. I showed both of them my tattoo, they loved it. Which you guys will be seeing soon, but it's going to be a tiny bit later down the line. Anyway, after that, went down and grabbed some lunch, which he went to Pizza 73. Or as everyone else knows it, everywhere else, Pizza Pizza. Don't know why it's just called that here. Anyway, after that, I went to the auction and all that. And it was fun. Bought some stuff there. And it was recorded, so it will be uploaded after all this. Then went and got some supper. Yeah, went and got some supper, then went to Eric Stewart's panel. No, we are about an hour and a half early for Eric Stewart's Q&A panel, so me and friends went to Hot Pepper Anime Reviews. I'm gonna say this, someone ate a jalapeno, one, two, three, three or four Spicy Thai chili peppers and a habanero. Poor deluded bastard. I feel for him. Then we went left with a when there was about 20 minutes left of that. Then we went to Q and A. Got all that stuff, which was always good. Got some more stuff from Eric for autographs. And then I went to the Cards Against Odafest, which was the last thing for me. That's not recorded. I did record a Q&A. I said, we're not allowed to 
record Cars Against Oddfest, but if I may quote SAO Bridge for a second, think of a normal Cars Against Humanity times it by cancer. That is Cars Against Oddfest. I know, fun, right? Now we're going to get into the. Uh, what we, the merchandise and the swag and all that I got. So, I'm going to be going off camera, sort of, and grabbing it. The first thing I got, and I went and got, was this, a hoodie. I get a hoodie every year. Bring it up to the camera. There's the logo. It's in gold this time instead of white and all that. Here's the back. If I can get it on camera. There we go. That's what the new hoodie looks like. And the, this theme was Cinderella. Which is good now. The autographs. First we're going to go into... Eric Stewart. I got him to sign Slayer's Try. And just for me to sort of be a dick, which I usually am, I got the sign on Lena's face. See? Lena's face. Just to be a dick, so when the that voice actor comes, they're like, why do you sign there? I told him to. I also got a couple of those bands. It's the Eric Stewart band. There. There's an autograph. Let's see. The another one of his CDs. He had two CDs there, so I got them. Sign on the inside cover. Then I got him to sign, or got a couple of things. He said I dropped something. There it is. The first thing I got from him was he signed Gallery, because he did Gallery and fucking Slayers. Fucking watch Slayers if you haven't. I was going to do this. Seto Kaiba. And part, there's going to be some with a promo for him. Okay, next was Stephanie Shea. And I got her to sign. Naruto, because I said she did Hinata. And for her, I got a picture. See? You can see in the corner, it says, Larry, you know my name says you got my bike when Flynn stole it. Levi says, Do you like? Nice tattoo. It rocks. Which is very nice. Now, we're going to the auction stuff. And you know me, I'm one of the big spenders at the auction. There's Four to seven others. I was the only big one that, no, there was me and the other one that were there. But, man, what you gonna do? It's a small one, I'm still glad it's back. There's gonna be a good promo con for that. But, first thing I got from the auction is this Bates Day. And it's Brandon, it's Saber. The Fate Stay Night Saber. Yeah, Fate Stay Night Saber Hyper Free Collection. That's very nice. It's going to go up on my desk over here. Then next up, I got some art. I'm going to be showing you one by one. Because it's fucking badass. First up is. It was a two pack, and I got. Oh, yeah, there we go. I got FMA. You can see Ed and Al. And then. What I was really stoked about. A Gundam one. I'm happy about that. Those are going to be going up in my office. Then next I got... There were some booklets being auctioned off. Auctioned off by the people who were there. The first one is... It's from Stephanie. I, Shay, I think I named I can't remember. It says, Thank you for coming to Odafest Aurora. Right there in the corner. And here's what it looks like. The next up was Eric Stewart. Just signed his name like always. See? And finally it was An Anila, Nila. I we had a hard, hard time pronouncing her name. That's all I'm really gonna say. Stephanie Sh Stephanie and Eric Stewart. All three signed them. Which was good. And the last item I got is a shirt. It's a tank top, a white one. And it is... Let's see if I can actually get this. I can stand up to show it. 
It's designed by Stephanie Shea, if you can see it. Right where my finger is, over there, see? You can probably see it. Set that back down. And that's pretty much all I have for Odefest. I'm just trying this for the first time to see how it sort of pans out. Pans out good, I'll do it every year, so you'll get two a year. All that. But it was all fun. So that's all they have. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe on YouTube, and all my social media platforms as I take a drink from my hard iced tea. Be some more gameplay and convention stuff coming up. And all that. I'll see you in the next part. Until then, take care. And of course, like always, everyone, peace.